this guy has posted, um, he's making these plastic gears for the music box. Now, this is for the 24 tooth gear. Um, he really needs to tell you what size uh, pinion it is. Uh, the pinion, how many teeth are in the pinion gear, because that is what matters, because the more teeth it is, the, it changes the size of this, the diameter of this gear, because if you uh, remember seeing in my other videos, there's like five different sizes. And stand by, and I'm going to show you what Time Saver shows. Now, this is on the governor itself. And you have to understand, it says, replace a worn or damaged governor and keep the same tune in your clock. Tooth count indicates the number of teeth on the comb. But you also have to count the number of teeth on the Pinion, you see that? If I can get this thing to focus in, I don't know why it's not focusing in. Come on, focus. Anyway, trust me, it says number of teeth on the pinion. The pinion, I've got a video that describes what a pinion is. It's the gear that lines up with the musical drum wheel. So this shows four different ones. I know there's another one out there because uh, I've, I've got several videos on the stupid plastic wheel. But anyway... He needs to say which is the the number of teeth on the pinion gear, and I'm going to tell him that. Anyway, what I'm getting at is you can contact this guy Dan Grumling, who's in the Cuckoo for Cuckoo Clocks group, and he shows you a video of it. Somebody says, "Did you have them injection molded?" I was discussing um, this with somebody who does 3D printing for a living, and he said if, uh, this was a while back, and he said if it's not injection molding 3D printing, then it will break or something. I don't know. I'm not a 3D printer expert. But here's the video the guy has where it shows you it, it working. But you'll have to uh, identify the number of pinion gears. And this guy, Ali Josby, says he has a few new ones that he could send in an envelope for 10 US dollars. I imagine that's a piece. Black Force Imports used to sell these plastic wheels for $5 a piece. They no longer do. It's just like I've been telling people that you can super glue those cracked wheels if you do it properly. There's other methods. You can micro drill holes on each side of the crack if they're not cracked that bad. And then you could take a, a wire and tighten up the um, uh, crack that way. You can put bushings around the wheel. I've seen people do that, but 
this guy says he watched somebody's YouTube video. Might have been my YouTube video, I don't know. But anyway, he says he, it worked for him. Hope you all like this video. Give me a thumbs up and may God bless.